and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bottling the cider that I made six weeks ago and I'm going to be bottling three demijohns, three and a half demijohns, sorry, worth of cider into about 35 bottles. Just to give it a nice touch. So these three and a half demijohns of cider I made about six, seven weeks ago and I homemade them from apples that I harvested from my apple tree in my garden. So I've got 32 bottles here that I'm going to be using to bottle the homemade cider into. These bottles I actually got from a recycling bin. So I just went to one of my neighbours um, who had the recycling out and luckily they had all of these bottles that I could use. If you do need bottles, you can buy them online, but to be honest, you're going to be washing them, you're going to be sterilising them. So you can just go to your local pub, your local restaurant or your neighbour's recycling and reuse and recycle what is already there. So the 32 bottles that I've got here have already been washed. So I've washed them with this bottle brush and I gave them a really, really, really good scrub. All the labels I'd already removed. I did that when I retrieved them from the recycling. So I did that outside with a hose and I took all of the original labels off. So then just today before I decided I was going to bottle them, I gave them a really good wash with hot soapy water with this bottle brush. And then I put them all on this drying rack. Now there's lots of different drying racks that you can get. You don't actually need a drying rack. You can just use a drying rack that you've got next to your kitchen sink or you could makeshift something. But I did purchase this drying rack because it's something we want to do every year. So it's worth investing in for us. And we have got quite a lot of bottles here to wash and dry. Okay, so now the bottles have been washed and they're all on the drying rack ready to go. They still need to be sanitised. So I have got a bottle rinser here and I'm going to be using a sanitizer. I'm going to be putting inside this with just normal tap water and then use the bottle rinser to sanitize inside the bottle to make sure that it's super, super clean and ready for the cider to go into. So depending on what sanitizer you use, you need to look at the instructions to see how much sanitizer you need per water. This particular one is 10 ml of sanitizer to five liters of tap water. I've got half that amount in here. So I've got two and a half liters in here. And this particular measure on this bottle is actually five milliliters. So I will just be able to pour this straight into here and then it's ready to use. So I'm just gonna give that a quick stir, just to make sure that it's all mixed into that water. Everything I'm using is sanitized and sterilized and completely ready to use with the cider. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take the bottles now, put it on top of this, and this looks like it's gonna be really satisfying. And just give it a few squirts. drying rack just to dry so so the sanitizer needs to come in contact with the surface for at least two minutes okay so I'm going to carry on sterilizing the rest of these bottles and then go ahead and start bottling so now all the bottles are completely sterilised and they're just waiting on the rack here to dry and they're fine just to air dry. While I'm doing that, I'm going to make sure the caps are nice and sterilised as well. So I'm going to just use the water that I've been using for the bottles. I'm going to put it in um, a separate bowl and I'm going to just pour these in so that they're ready to go when I need them. bought new every time you bottle cider or beer or anything that you're brewing yourself you need to use brand new caps so my caps have been in that sterilizing solution now i'm just going to pour the water back into the bottle washer and then i'm just going to put them in another clean bowl just to dry and they'll be ready to use when i start bottling so i have got this 
contraption here in front of me and this is to put the caps on the bottles so it should be quite easy but I've never used one of these before but the idea is you just pop the cap on the bottle you place this over it and then you just push the levers down and that should make that really airtight and secure so that nothing gets into the bottles and also nothing gets out of the bottles so I'm also going to be using carbonation drops and these are going to go one of these into each bottle so that will then ferment it for a second time Time making the drink fizzy so you can also use sugar to make the drink fizzy but I just thought this was a really easy way of doing it it's one drop per bottle and you know you've got the right amount and you know your drinks gonna be fizzy at the end of it so now all the preparation is done the bottles are washed and sanitized the caps are ready I've got my carbonation drops ready to go in the bottles everything's absolutely ready it's now time for the fun part which is actually getting the cider out of the Demi Johns into the bottles so i've got my bottle i'm going to take the lid off this so i'm going to be using this siphon here there's loads of different siphons on the market we just picked a basic one because that's all we really need it's got this piece on the top here which stops any of the debris from the demijohn coming up inside this funnel and getting into the bottle what i actually do is put the end of the siphon through the demijohn stopper and that's just to stop it moving around inside the bottle like this so if that was in there without this it would just be moving around inside and a lot of the debris would just be moving around inside the bottle and there's more chance of it getting up inside the funnel and into the bottle so without further ado i'm going to pop that right into the demijohn if you do use the demijohn stopper just make sure it's at a slight angle so that the air can get in and out because if there's an airlock then the siphon won't actually work so i've got the cider right up to the end of this tube and it's got this little stopper on it so that opens and closes it so that the cider doesn't get released from the tube until you need it to until it's actually in the bottle i'm going to add one of my carbonation drops into the bottle just like that and then I'm going to open this up and the cider is going to go into the bottle. So I've left a little bit of a gap here. It's probably just over an inch and that's just to leave a little bit of air in there and that helps with the extra fermentation and to make it nice and fizzy. Now I'm going to add the caps. So these are the caps that I've already sterilized. They're all sanitary, just like that. I'm gonna use my new contraption. So that needs to go right on top there. It's got a little magnet on it which helps it hold it in place and then hopefully I'm just going to push this down <laughs> and it's going to seal this bottle. Okay so that cap is on there now and nothing is coming out of that bottle. At the top you can see where the pressure's actually made a bit of an indent on there so that shows that that's on there really nice and tight. everything that was in this first demi john i've got eight bottles of homemade apple cider the finishing touch is i just want to add one of my labels so i got these off of ebay they just say that it is gemma's homemade apple cider and i'm going to be putting these on the bottles just to give it a nice touch
So these now need to sit for two weeks, just like this with the carbonation drops inside, just to let them get really, really fizzy. That's my first eight done. I've got another two and a half Demi Johns to get through, so I'm gonna get on with that. So if you do anything differently, or if you've got any good tips for anyone that might be watching this, please leave it in the comments. It's so helpful when we all help each other in the comments and share our knowledge. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you again soon.